Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty. Now, I just did a video on the Season 6 battle rifle, the DTIR 30 6 Powerful weapon. In fact, one of the most powerful weapons in the entire game. Not going to lie to you about that. I'll leave a link to the video below. Anyway, that got me to thinking, is the DTIR actually the best battle rifle that we can select, that we can equip? And my mind wandered, as it often does, to the FTAC Recon. I remember the FTAC Recon could flat out serve Gacamole with chips to the enemies. So I dug it out from the basement, dusted off the cobwebs, oiled it up. I configured it like this, and you can configure it various ways, but I decided to take the FTAC Recon and compare it to the new guy in town, the DTIR. So how did I configure it? Well, I started with the 15 round mag. Why did I use that? Because there isn't a bigger one. You can only use a 15 round mag at the max. And there's a reason for that, and I think that reason will become readily apparent in a second. But first, let's look at the damage. Headshot, all the way up to 75. 65, 65, upper torso, lower torso, even 50 to the upper legs. So it's a three-shot kill unless you can get two headshots, and then that makes it a two-shot kill. Effective damage range is 21.1 meters, and you'll see that number, as well as the 51.3 minimum damage range, are exactly the same as the DTIR. Bullet velocity, 590 meters per second. That means just under 30 meters is going to be your hit scan range. Rate of fire is a decent 500 rounds per minute. The gun kick, 31.85 degrees. That's not significant. 3.29 degrees per second for the horizontal recoil, and the vertical recoil is an easy to control 40.1. One, three. And how do we get these numbers? Well, they're the composite of all the attachments that we hung on to it, but also there was a massive buff to the FTAC Recon in Season 6, and it decreased the horizontal and vertical recoil in a significant way. It made it a much more appetizing choice if you want to blow some melons off folks accuracy is okay with the hip fire attack stance and that sort of thing that's the last ditch with a battle rifle you can see the mobility numbers you could tax sprint at 6.8 move along at about five meters per second ads is on the slower side at 293 milliseconds as is sprint to fire speed some of the other attachments i use the sock and grip mostly to get the recoil down even lower because you only got 15 rounds that's it. So they better be accurate. The demo precision stock also helps slightly with the recoil and the accuracy. Hurts the crouch movement speed. I'm willing to give all that up. Grandpa doesn't like the way his toes look, so I don't crouch and look at them that often. Of course, the jack cutthroat stock will be an excellent selection there, too, because it increases your ADS movement speed, impacts your recoil right at the 10% mark there, so questionable. Depending on what you want to do with it, it's an intentional decision. ADS movement speed, though, with 15 rounds, Grandpa decided he didn't have much time to strafe. Quartermaster suppressor, and that helps with the accuracy in a significant way, slightly impacts the handling. FTAC MSP 98 hand stop. You can go with others like the Jack Slash if you want, but this one here I thought was the best balance of ADS movement speed and additional recoil control. Don't even look at that 2% in the horizontal because you will never see it. All right, there it is. Let's take it on to the shooting range and see how we did. Oop. Selecting fully auto. That's why we control the recoil, so we can shoot in fully auto. And you can see we're down to one round. Yeah, it may take one or two. Yes, it may take two to three shots to gag somebody, but you got to let up on the trigger. And that usually takes me a round or two. Grandpa's a little trigger happy. He likes to laugh in a very sinister way. <laughs> while I'm pulling the trigger. So I always squeeze out an extra few rounds. And while we're talking about it, let's just do a, a quick comparison of the two by the numbers. If you look at the fire rates, 
the rounds per minute goes to the FTAC recon, but the bullet velocity in a significant way goes to the DTAIR, and that makes that probably more of a war zone weapon than a multiplayer weapon. The damage, significant win for the FTAC recon, but how far out can you go? Well, the effective damage range, the minimum damage range, exactly the same. The hit scan range for the FTAC recon is a hefty 30 meters. 50 meters, though, for the DTIR making, like I said, it probably the better choice in Warzone. But thus far, the FTAC Recon looks better in multiplayer. Let's look at kill metrics very quickly. And as you can expect, the FTAC Recon, significantly faster killing because it deals significantly higher damage in the head and in the upper and lower torso. When you look at recoil, the only place where the DTIR has an advantage is in the gun kick, 19%. But the horizontal recoil, 66% better for the FTAC, as is the vertical recoil at a full 21%. That makes, in my opinion, the FTAC the better choice when it comes to recoil for multiplayer. The gun kick makes the DTIR a better choice maybe for Warzone. I don't play Warzone, so I don't know. Maybe some of you Warzone players can comment. And when you look at hip fire, it looks like there's significant advantage for the DTIR. There really isn't. I mean, the numbers are so close together and hip fire for battle rifle they're not great anyway and finally for mobility reload quickness is the only place where the ftac wins remember it deals a bigger punch the effective damage range is almost exactly the same it's a faster time to kill very significantly and in fact if you hit a wounded enemy the bigger punch means you're more likely to gack the enemy with the ftac recon the speeds, the significant advantage in these numbers for the DTIR is the sprint to fire speed, and it's 40% better, 151. That's a great sprint to fire speed for a battle rifle. To me, I'm willing to take the slower sprint to fire speed to have the heavier punch of the FTAC recon. So do I think the FTAC recon is a better weapon than the DTIR, yes. For the way I play, they're hands down, it is a better weapon. Now, one thing I do have to consider is it only carries those 15 rounds. The DTIR can carry 40. So I may choose the DTIR at times, even though the FTAC, in my opinion, is a much superior weapon. I just don't have as many rounds in the magazine. So I'm going out with a Dainey magazine with the FTAC with a very bulky magazine with the DTIR. And speaking of going out, let's take the FTAC onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See if it blew away Grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's go. All right, Grandpa's got a cup of coffee. Let's get into this. Dying is not a good way to make a living, boy. And Grandpa got gacked twice before he even knew he was in a free-for-all game. But let's bring that F-Tac to bear and see if we can work our way out of this early hole. Ooh. All right. I got it on the single shot mode. I switched it to automatic. So 15 rounds goes a lot of way, a long way in single shot. In automatic, throwing those rounds out at roughly 600 rounds per minute, there's nothing that can stand against it. 75 headshot. 68-68, upper and lower torso. So Grandpa's kind of mellow at the beginning. He's not there or somebody. I don't know what he was doing. Putting out a streak. That guy thought he was going to jump down and knife him. The blue nun, the blue-veiled nun. There's the average soldier, and Grandpa got one of them. Somebody else on the outside got two. So in free-for-all, you've got to figure out what the lobby's doing. If people are camping on the, on the corners, on the outside, if they're running through the inside, through the middle, like that guy, it's usually safer to be on the outside, but Grandpa will hunt you down. Now, will he gack you? That's another that's another question. All right. On the outside, I've just reloaded. Get Snoop Dogg. There's the teal veiled nun. 
Think Grandpa's keeping close. Going to the middle. Ouch, ouch. And the fish were biting, and the whale bit Grandpa, sold him the farm. So I dig myself out of the grave. The F tack is amazing. Look at that guy. I, I, how does he jump that far? I mean, some people can slide across the map. Some people can jump from standing flat-footed across the map. But here's one thing I know. As long as you get the bullets flying in the direction of the enemy, you have a better than... You probably have about a 90% chance with the FTAC. Now, I just did a video on the DTR-30.06, and I'll leave a link to it in the linked videos at the very end. It was powerful, too. I don't know where that guy is going, but I'm going to wait here in case he comes back. I'm too wounded. Look, look how that guy moves. Can you believe it? Oh, there's Snoop. I thought he was already dead. That must be Ghost of Snoop. There's a guy that can slide forever, but if he's sliding straight into you, he's going to eat it. Oh, by the way, I was using Scavenger because I did run out of bullets several times on an earlier 6v6. In fact, you're going to get to see that 6v6 at the end. And I switched during that, I believe, to the Scavenger so that I wouldn't run out of bullets because I don't like to carry an ammunition box I like to carry a trophy system. Look at that guy. Look how fast he is. A trophy system just in case I need it. And I think that was the guy who was Elvis. Elvis was wearing white, which he never did before. Wall bang at distance. With the F-Tac, wall bang at distance. So if you're shooting through cover with a 75 to the head, 68 to the torso, you're still going to pack a pretty big punch. And if the enemy's already wounded even slightly, your chances of a one-shot kill, two-shot kill to the torso are greatly multiplied. That's something to keep in mind. Time to kill isn't king all, all the time, but even so, there's the rescue racer. But even so, time to kill on this weapon, it's... 120 milliseconds two to the head especially in the effective damage range because both shots are going to be hit scans so it's going to be like you're shooting them twice point blank even three times on a hit scan see those are what were they two to the torso and one to the head all three of them were hit scans that's why i fell so quickly oh 29 29 i need one more gak i'd hate to lose this one there's the teal veiled nun. She gives it up for Grandpa. And there we are. Are there people throwing out the insults? Somebody accusing the rescue racer of cheating? Grandpa just kept his mouth shut, listened over a speaker. Now, this is 6v6. I want to show you how good this thing works in 6v6. M moving getting gacked or getting shot at from all sides. There's another teal, and there's a rescue racer on our team. Somebody going up to be a Muppet. Gotta remember not to gack the rescue racer. Well, I can't. You can't gack your own team. It'd be so much more convenient for camos if you could, and it counted. I'd never get out of the spawn, and neither would my team. So we're starting to get pretty far behind and Grandpa, those of you who watch the stream and play on the stream know that we don't like to lose. Ooh. Fifteen rounds is all you have. And I, I, the reason why they do that, in my mind, is because the gun is so overpowered. DTIR, not as much damage. But you're going to get a 40 round mag, and that lasts a while for you. Now, the upside, it's a quick change out of the magazine. If you're not completely empty, it's relatively fast. If you are empty and we can gack across the map midways, we can get long shots. 
Grandpa is totally unconscious. He's outside his body right now. He's looking down. Uh, that guy's looking down on his grave. He's looking down on the battlefield. There's our rescue race. Oh, see? I had to change out the mag there. Still behind, but at least we've stabilized, meaning that we're not getting further behind. Grandpa's muppeting, getting a situational awareness, knowing that somebody's going to spawn to the right. They've already left. Now, teal veiled none. And we've renetted her. Hope she appreciated that. We pulled out a Renetti just for her. You can see that the FTAC is just deadly. I mean, it erases people. Of course, like I said, only 15 rounds. Grandpa's sneaking around. Gonna put out... Gonna put out the turret, and Grandpa always gets gacked when he throws out a turret. But he got it out successfully. Didn't think he wanted to see it. Oh, here. Hold that. Hold that, Richard Petty. NASCAR driver. Starting to make up some ground on the enemy. And Grandpa gets hoisted on his own petard, to quote Shakespeare. Killed by my own thing. Look at that guy. Crazy. It, it's a good knife fight weapon. It, it just is. The FTAC recon, I was shocked at how good this weapon is. Now, you can change up the configuration. Like I said, you can put the, the jack stock on it for a little bit better strafe. But there's... The racing zombie. There he is again. Oh, there's somebody over there. I can't believe the guy up top didn't even see my bullets. There you go, buddy. There's a reward. Grandpa F tacked you. You're going to F tack him. Oh, I got F tacked. Grandpa's playing about as sweaty as he can there. Um, oh. <laughs> The racing, look at the racing zombie. I think he might have seen when Grandpa through the through the building there. That was a little strange. There he is again. Got his buddy, Night Cream Face. Still can't quite. I, I don't know if the yeah, well, we got up to 13, and Grandpa was up to the 14th. Hey, we tied. Like kissing your sister, but I don't know what that's like, so maybe you do. Let me know in the comments. Try it out, the FTAC. I think you'll be impressed. Let me know. As always, like and subscribe is appreciated. It helps me, helps the family. Cheers and peace to you.